ancient Santa Fe. These are holy men who became friends of God, glorious herald of divine truth. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, may the grace of Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Dear brothers and sisters, welcome. Especially, we are very happy to have our school students here to celebrate this Eucharist. And today is February 14th. So on this day, we celebrate um, Valentine, Valentine's Day. And uh, you know, Valentine actually was a saint, Catholic saint, lived in the third century. So he sacrificed his life for uh, love of God for love of people, so we will talk about him later uh, in the homily. And uh, then today we also celebrate two great saints, uh, Saint Cyril, monk, and uh, Saint um, Methodius, bishop. Uh, they were brothers. Uh, both of them became missionary uh, to Slavic nations. So as we gather together, and we know that we are sinners, and we made mistakes, we have committed sins. Now let us come before the Lord, acknowledge our sins. So prepare ourselves to celebrate these mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, bless Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who enlightened the Slavic peoples through the brothers of saints, Cyril and Methodius, grant that our heart may grasp the words of your teaching and perfect us as a people of one accord in truth and in right confession through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the beginning of the letter of St. James. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the 12 tribes in the dispersion. Greetings. Consider it all joy, my brothers and sisters, when you encounter various trials. For you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. And let perseverance be perfect so that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. But if any of you lacks wisdom, he should ask God, who gives it all generously and ungrudgingly, and he will be given it. But he should ask in faith, not doubting. For the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea that is driven and tossed about by the wind. For that person must not suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord, since he is a man of two minds, unstable in all his ways. The brother in lowly circumstances should, should take pride in high standing, and the rich one in his lowliness, for he will pass away like the flower of the field. For the sun comes up of its, its scorching heat and dries up the grass, its flower droops, and the beauty of its appearance vanishes. 
So will the rich person fade away in the midst of his, of his pursuits. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response is, be kind to me, Lord, and I shall live. Be kind to me, Lord, and I shall live. Before I was afflicted, I went astray, but now I hold on to your promise. Be kind to me, Lord, and I shall live. You are good and bountiful. Teach me your statutes. Be kind to me, Lord, and I shall live. It is good for me that I have been afflicted, that I may learn your statutes. Be kind, Be kind to me, Lord, Lord and, I and I shall live. The law of your mouth is to me more precious than thousands of gold and silver pieces. Be, Be kind, kind to me, Lord, Lord and, I and I shall live. I know, O Lord, that your ordinances are just, and in your faithfulness you have afflicted me. Be, Be kind, kind to me, Lord, Lord and, I and I shall live. Let your kindness comfort me according to the promise to your servants. Be kind to me, Lord, and I shall live. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. I am the way and the truth and the life, says the Lord. No one come to the Father except through me. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. The Pharisees came forward and began to argue with Jesus, seeking from him a sign from heaven to test him. He sighed from the depths of his spirit and said, Why does this generation seek a sign? Amen, I say to you, no sign will be given to this generation. Then he left them, got into the boat again, and went off to the other shore. Dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. And today is a Valentine's Day, and uh, usually people just celebrate this day without realizing that actually this day of celebration is originated in our faith, uh, in Catholic faith. And Valentine was a true person. He lived in the third century, and uh, he sacrificed his life for uh, uh, at that time for God. So Valentine, and he was a doctor, and then uh, he became a priest. You know, in the early, uh, in the third century, in the early church, the church was persecuted, and there's a April, April called Claudius at that time. So um, Valentine, was uh, baptized, uh, baptizing people, and also at the same time, he performed marriages and uh, to marry people. So um, the emperor was very uh, mad about him because uh, once you marry, <laughs> you have to take care of your family, and they cannot be soldier anymore. So he arrested him and put him in jail. Uh, however, even in jail, and he continued to preach the gospel, and he converted those people uh, who are taking care of him, and the uh, jailers, 
there's a person called Asterius, and uh, he become friend with him and uh, her, uh, his daughter Julia. So then the emperor heard that uh, he was doing that, and uh, he was quite upset. And uh, then even he liked him, and uh, he want to pardon his sin and release from him, release him from the prison. But uh, um, because of oppositions, uh, finally uh, he was so mad. He want he decided to execute him. So because uh, he was truly lover of God, lover of the people, and before his execution, he wrote this letter to Julia. And Julia actually at that time, uh, she was blind and uh, she cannot see. And uh, while he, uh, Valentine was in jail, and uh, he often read books for him, but he however, decided to write this last letter to her, to encourage her, continue seek Lord, continue hold strong faith in the Lord. So, and uh, after he wrote this letter, and uh, he signed, uh, uh, he signed uh, at, the, at the end of the note, he said, from your Valentine. So that was a very famous word, uh, and uh, the last word he wrote uh, to Julia. So that's why and, uh, we continue to celebrate uh, this legend, and we continue to celebrate uh, his uh, um, love for God and for uh, God's people. And uh, then uh, on February 14th, after his execution, people remember him. And, uh, because of his love for God and love for his people, then <clears throat> people remember that day and become uh, a, a day of celebrating love, uh, even for married people and for lovers and for a girlfriend and boyfriend. So today we gather together on the February 14th. Many people will celebrate uh, Valentine's Day and they will go out, have a romantic uh, date, but uh, people already forgot, actually. This is a, a feast day for this great sin, Valentine, Valentine, and he sacrificed his love for, uh, he sacrificed his life for love of God, for love of people. So indeed, and uh, love should be celebrated, but at the same time, we should always remember love is originated in God and because of God's love and we have our beings because of God's love. We have a husband and a wife and uh, we have our parents and we also have probably, uh, we, are, we do not have boyfriend or girlfriend yet, but eventually if um, we have boyfriend or girlfriend and we know that uh, that is because God has already loved us. Uh, God gave us a special person in our life to be co companion in our life. So in that way, we are all invited to love God and love one another. So as we remember him, and uh, we also hear, hear in the gospel that Jesus came Incarnated, uh, inc incarnated into this world and became a human being. And Jesus uh, embodied the other God's love in himself. And Jesus is love himself, but people do not see and do not uh, really believe uh, in Jesus Christ. And those Pharisees came to Jesus Christ and asked him for a sign. Jesus already performed many signs, uh, signs of love, of healing, signs of love, or perform miracles and feeding the hungry. And people continue seeking signs. And Jesus was quite upset um, because they continue seeking signs. And uh, even Jesus was in their midst. So you know, then Jesus left them and uh, said, no sign will give to this generation. 
Indeed, we, we are continually seeking signs of God's love in this world. But uh, however, look at ourselves. We are the sign that God uh, has given to each of us. Uh, we are the sign of God's love inside ourselves. Whenever we perform a sign of, uh, whenever we love and whenever we perform uh, kindness uh, to others, then we see truly God is alive in, inside of us. And God is in our midst. So let us uh, continue our celebration. And uh, Jesus is here. And each of us is here. And uh, look at uh, the person next to you. It is really a sign of God's love for you. <laughs> you love you. But uh, that's true. Huh? And uh, we are classmates. Uh, we journey together in our school and uh, look at our teachers. They are signs of God's love for us. So God always invites us uh, to celebrate God's love in our midst. We do not have to look far uh, for a sign. We just look around us. I even look at ourselves. Uh, appreciate that God has created us beautifully. So let us uh, come to the Eucharist and Jesus it's a true sign of God's love. And uh, he left this Eucharist for us to celebrate his presence and his love for us. So let us thank God. And uh, as we celebrate this Eucharist, uh, we pray for all the families, husband and wife, pray for our parents, uh, pray for all those uh, lovers. Uh, may they show uh, true love uh, to each other as God loves them. Now let us stand, come before our loving God, knowing that Jesus is here with us, and through him we offer our prayers and petitions to our loving God. We pray for all leaders of the church. We pray that they may be guided by the Holy Spirit to make good decisions and teach others the ways of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for all of the world leaders that they work towards peace and a brighter future. We also pray for all of the people involved in the government that they work together to make good decisions to benefit everyone. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for those who have been affected by COVID-19 in our society, in particular our healthcare workers, that you will reward them for their tireless efforts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for the homeless people around the world that they find comfort and shelter, especially during this winter season. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for those who are sick, that they may feel God's gentle touch of nurture and care, and also that they may find joy in their lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for members of the St. Anne community in Paris who have died, that they are happy in heaven with God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for any other intentions that we hold close to our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We also pray for our parents and uh, all who are married. May God continue to inspire them to 
sacrifice their lives to love one another. Let us pray to the Lord. And we pray also for our beloved deceased as today. Especially we pray for Stephen Lau, Ching Kin Ling. Let us pray to the Lord. And we pray for all the sick. And we pray for healing of Salvador Jesus Posadas. Let us pray to the Lord. And today, Minda Salinas celebrated her birthday. And we pray for God's blessing upon her. We pray to the Lord. Grace and loving God, we come to your presence, offer all our prayers with confidence in your, great, in your gracious love. May you hear and answer our prayer according to your holy will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept it. For good, good of his holy church. Look, O oh Lord, upon the offerings which we bring before your majesty in commemoration of St. Cyril and Masodius. Grant that these gifts may become the signs of new humanity reconciled to you in loving charity through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For on the festival of St. Cyril, Methodius, St. Valentine, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of their holy lives and teach her by their words of preaching and keep her in keep her safe in answer to their prayers. And so, with the company of the angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise. As without end, we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, 
Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by, set, by setting down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Salvatore our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember Steve, Ching, King, Ling, and all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Dear brothers and sisters, at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us a day of daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to our apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign 
forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Bless are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. O oh God, Father of all nations, who made us here in this one bread and the one spirit, and the heirs of the eternal banquet, grant in your kindness on this day of Saint Cyril and Methodius and Saint Valentine that the multitude of your children persevering in the same faith may be united in building up the kingdom of justice and peace through Christ our Lord. Thank you all for joining the Mass, and especially thank you for our readers and all those who participated uh, in this Mass. Uh, may you have a blessed day. Uh, Remember, say Happy Valentine's Day unto your parents. Huh? The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our message is ended. Go in peace.